俺は俺はもう<笑><笑> Hi, hi, welcome back, my friend. Today we're on the 23rd episode of One Piece. Why are we here? Of course, we want to see what Don Frick is going to do after he knows the owner. Or maybe, oh, I have a theory. What if Don Frick's Don were the owner? So the owner were once a Don too, but he decided. His purpose in life is to feed people, probably. I am really excited that we have to watch this together again from the third POV. I still think we are the part of Luffy's crew, so this is our journey. Oh, my back. The thing when your disc kind of slip inside, this, the disc kind of slip right into my body. Kind of troubles me sometimes. Two, two, three. Here the Don Freak came, he looking all weak. I really right. would have so left him. I don't understand Pirate's logic. Oh, and Zephu. Zephu Ooh, we're going to see the history of owner Zeph. What? What? <laughs> グランドラインの事務所へドンクリックが打ち抜いた。50席の海賊艦隊でも渡れなく。貴様は。三番を目的。鋼鉄に連れ足形を残せたらしく。そして切り倒して。帰り道を浴びた貴様の靴のこと。貴様にとって片方の足を失うのは。ああ。誰かに<笑> ゴーカイニッシュがあるはず。それ俺に起こせ。え、おっさんもグランドライン入ったことあんのか。ルフィ、ウィンディシチュエーション。何？ゴーカイニッシュは勝つて後悔を共にした仲間たち。ならば、
Yes, are we going to see the past of Sanji? どんどん<笑><笑> <laughs> he just doesn't want to say anything about it. Ooh, what is it in the Grand Line? Grand Line is the Grand Line. The 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 Grand Line is the Grand Line. あの、人を<笑> <laughs> I think he's overflowed with excitement. That's our Luffy. Ano otoko ni wa soko ni ikeba ai. Omae ra masaki ni shinu taipu da na. Shitoshite saikyou o mezasu to kimeta toki kara. いのちなんて塔に捨ててる。ええ、これでまた再びグランドラインを目指せるという。ま、またあんなところへ。See, <笑> he's not doing it for their favor, but rather for himself. He wants to get to the grand line. What is it with Grand Line? Are you real? Who is this again? Hawkeye? Okay. Ish. Gak tahu diuntung. Huh? Ne? First of all, he attacked from far away and he can break the the, the ship. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. He can't be. He's, she took the... What? What is that? How kind? How big is his word again? That can break a full ship when he even like how can he even lift the sword if it's here Columbus? Why does Zoro seem so surprised? I didn't this is first time as a pirate. See, it's Haukai. I'm so smart. I can figure it out because he don't show us the eyes. That means he's the Hawkeye. Like that simple. Okay. I really don't expect that the cook is recognized by uh, Don Creek. I thought they were like acquaintance or something that they don't even want to attack the ship because his face looks like it looks so believable that he doesn't want to. Like he was shocked. I was shocked too that he knows. The, the 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 owner is out zef this episode is really unpredictable there's like two things that surprise us at this episode first of all that actually he knows the zef the owner and second we get to see the the how guy if he could beat 
I mean, okay. If he could beat Don Creek, can you can you imagine how strong he is? He just one man, and he can like break all the ships that they like. There are tw fifty ships, you know. There are fifty ships, and the the only ships that still there is one ship that has Don Creek in it. Probably they are already uh, ahead of the other forty nine ships. What are the things that's going that make how guy trying to chase him if he's not? Oh, maybe he takes something like a treasure or something, or maybe he killed his crew. But then again, I know the animation is not something to be think logically. It could be very irrational. But I mean, if a sword could, if he could swing his sword and break the ship into three pieces, three at that, okay? So two swings, swings, two swings. How big can it be? Oh, maybe he used the sword as an anchor. That's why it doesn't even flinch when the word like like breaking up. What's the word? We can wish. I did the wish, wish, wish. Wave. The breaking of the ship is making a big wave. It doesn't even flinch the ship. It's probably because he's heavy. He's like has something heavy. Why is he trying to go after Don Quick? I mean, like Don Quick is a bitch. I I get it. People want to hunt him, but what kind of what did he do? Okay, guys, I think that's it for this episode. We're gonna get into the next episode, the twenty fourth episode, that are going to be also unpredictable. I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare myself for this one. Also, we're sailing in the sea. It looks like we're sailing in how guys. Point of view, perhaps? Uh, oh, this is the wave, the big wave that he made. Can you imagine how strong he is that he made a big wave? We can never believe that. This woman. She knows what she's doing. Is she gonna stomp them? She looks sorry though. I hate this woman already. How do we get this ship again? Huh? So then what happened? How big is this war? Or is it the Titanic? So they can leave. Why? <laughs> the ship is so cute! If I were a pirate, I want that ship. How could the ship doesn't sink in a in a second? Like me. What? He reminded me of Flying Dutchman. He could have killed you. Even if you were mad of steel, he could have just killed you. の目の見ほく。見ほく。高野目の見ほく。見ほく。おお。最強の男。おお。こいつが。あいつは大剣の高野目の男だぞ。So we have to see him hand in hand. What's the word? Zoro fight with him.約束の時が。ノラミアって俺たちを狙うんだ。暇つぶし。え。うお。Can <笑> この船もその剣で割ったのがいかにもなるほど。俺はお前に出会うために何を目指す。最強。Is he going to join Hawkeye? That's how I take student. 
海賊狩りかあいつゴイングメリーゴが見えなくなっちまうぜ哀れない弱き者よウィッグワン一発の剣士であれば剣を交えるまでもなく俺と俺は己の勇気がはたまた無知なるゆうあっおい全力を出すバカな獣とは違う多少た海の中で最弱の海あいにくこれ以下の刃物は持ち合わせて身の中の川津よ世の広さを知るがよい鬼
の剣を越えてみようこの俺を越えてみようロロロはどの貴様は何を目指す海賊王険しき<笑>よりもな知らねえよこれからなるんだから<笑>One swing of sword, he could have just torn Zoro apart into three parts, into a thousand parts, but he doesn't do that because why? He wants to see Zoro evolved and he has a, a good ambition. I think this episode is more likely to see, to, to show us that Zoro, why Zoro do this, what he does, he wants to be reminded us of why Zoro wants to be the strongest swordsman and show us what kind of opponent that we have to face this is how kai this is the strongest he doesn't even want to kill him he give him some time to develop his technique <laughs> and from meeting him we also know something about zoro he doesn't know himself i mean like I, I don't know but when he saw like uh when he say that zoro has to know himself he has to know the world uh that means a lot that means maybe in we're not gonna meet how kai in in a minute i'm mean, like in just the first episodes i think we're gonna meet him in like hundreds episode ahead and hopefully by the time zoro has already become somehow stronger i don't know how he could train himself that he is inside a ship with no other swordsman how does he like train himself but he'll find a way yeah there is going going to be people who is bigger than us and it's just understandable that he he wants to take up the the biggest strongest man now i understand why oh just the fact he doesn't kill zoro is just oh that's a touch and how luffy doesn't want uh the two kids to be involved in the in the battle yeah not because he thinks I, my point of view is not that he thinks the other two cannot kill or like win over win over Hawkeye is more likely to give Zoro what he's been waiting for he can sense that and that makes him a good captain Don Creed is a boss but Luffy is the leader as someone who works under a boss and used to work under a leader I understand hmm. I don't understand why even Zoro were just like like the others are eager to join Luffy's team. Okay, we can talk about Nami, but anyways, 
the five of them okay guys i think that's it for this episode i'm gonna see you in the next one we'll see i, I really want to see them being killed by him but that wouldn't be fun or will it okay guys see you in the next time